वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल मेक अ फ्री एनर्जी जनरेटर यूजिंग अ फील्ड वाइंडिंग डीसी मोटर एंड मैग्नेट फॉर दिस टूल रिक्वायर्ड इज एज यूजुअल हियर वी आर टेकिंग अ फील्ड वाइंडिंग व्हिच हैज अ कोर वाइंडिंग ऑन बोथ द साइड्स ऑफ द कोर नाउ नेक्स्ट व्हाट वी विल डू यूजिंग अ मल्टीमीटर वी विल चेक द कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ बोथ द कॉइल वंस वी विल गेट द कंटिन्यूटी ऑन बोथ द एंड्स ऑफ द कॉइल व्हाट वी विल डू वी विल join the two endings and make a series connection so that maximum length of a coil winding we will get so this type of core winding we will take it has uh, uh, two coils on both the sides what we will do these two coils have two endings uh, one with a black and another with a yellow now what we will do we will join the two yellow wires in continuity and get the continuity in the black wire using multimeter we can check that so we will properly remove the insulation of a yellow wire with a knife or a blade after removing it we will solder it properly with a extra wire so that we can get the continuity in the black wire after removing the insulation properly next what we will do we will join the two black wires so that we can get the continuity in both the wires of the black wires here once we have removed the insulation using a cutter we will remove the insulation of a black wires properly and thinning it with a blade or a knife so here we are removing the insulation of a black wire once it is been removed we can check the continuity using a multimeter and next we will join the yellow wire and solder it properly once it is been done we can check the continuity there and once it is been completed we will see that this is mounted over a stand so we are removing the insulation properly and thinning it with a knife or a blade so here we have done it next uh, we will check it with a multimeter the continuity of both the um, core windings and after checking it we will solder the two yellow color wires so that we can get the continuity in both the ends of the black wires of both the core windings now keep the multimeter in a resistance mode and uh, check the whether deflection is occur or not once you will get the deflection and then keeping it in a resistance mode we will check the continuity of both the core windings of the coil so here we is, we are getting deflection when we touch yellow and black wire showing that both the core windings are done properly after checking that now next what we will do we will join the uh, yellow windings uh, yellow color wire with a extra wire once we have done it uh, solder it properly we will get the continuity in the black wire so the connection will be in uh, series and uh, maximum number of windings will be present in the core this core we will use it for generation of free energy it also works on the principle of faraday's law of electromagnetic induction that is whenever a magnetic flux linking the coil changes emf field generated so we are using this field coil of maximum windings to generate the electricity after checking this now we will take extra wire and solder the yellow wire with an extra wire so solder is been done properly the black wire 
we have soldered on both the ends of the yellow wire now we will get the continuity in the black wire we can use a multimeter and check the continuity so here we are getting a continuity showing the deflection of the multimeter once it has been done next uh, we will mount this uh, core winding over the stand so here the deflection it is uh, showing uh, showing that the continuity is present once it has been done next next we have to mount this uh, core over the stand before that we will take a dc motor with the magnet and fix it on the uh, ply board and using the uh, two sided tape we will fix this core over the slab or a stand next we will take a mo dc motor with a front magnet and uh, mount it over the board and fix it tightly on the plywood board using a screw We will tightly fix the motor so that it will not shake once it has been fitted. Next, we will mount uh, the field core winding over a stand we are using a two sided tape to fix the uh, slab here uh, to make a stand for the core here I have taken a glass slab a thick glass slab to make a stand and fix it uh, once it has been fixed we will mount the core over it and see that a magnet is in the center of the uh, core coil fix the two sided tape and uh, mount the uh, core coil over it and see that the magnet is in the center of the coil so that maximum flux will be uh, linking with the coil Once it has been done, next okay, we have to use a diode uh, and solder it with the one uh, end of the black wire so that uh, uh, we can make a half wave rectification when the output is generated. The output is uh, in a form of alternating current that is AC. Now we will using a diode, we will make a half wave rectification and uh, get a DC.
for this we will use a filter capacitor also and solder it in front of uh, the forward bias diode and a black wire in a parallel so that a residual AC is been removed and we will get a pure DC we are soldering a diode properly to one end of the black wire once it is been done now we will take a, a filter capacitor and solder it uh, parallelly on both ends of the uh, black wire So we are taking a filter capacitor here and solder it on parallelly on the both the output of a black wire one with the forward bias diode on the positive point of the capacitor and negative with the black wire. Once uh, we have soldered the diode and the capacitor making a half wave rectification here the output of the core winding we will get in the form of uh, alternating current uh, that is AC by using a half wave rectification by using a diode and a capacitor we will filter out uh, in the form of uh, a pure DC here you can use a half wave rectification full wave or a bridge rectification also so by using one diode we can make a half wave rectification if you are using a two diodes you can make a full wave rectification and if you are using a four diodes you can make a bridge rectifier so that you can get a pure form of a dc here i am using a single diode to make a half wave rectification and a filter capacitor to remove the residual ac present in the circuit once it is been uh, done next uh, we will take a extension board to get the output connection so here uh, we have do done all the thing the motor with the front magnet is kept in front of uh, uh, the core winding next we will take extension board and uh, uh, the we will solder the two points of the extension board that is red and black wire with the output of the core coil uh, and solder it with the ends of uh, we will fix it with uh, this uh, tape two sided tape fix the extension board once it has been fixed now uh, we will solder the two points uh, of the extension board with the output of the core winding so we, we will solder it properly to the output uh, one with the output of a diode which is in a forward bias we will solder it properly So after soldering uh, both the red wire with the forward bias diode and the black wire uh, with the uh, output of a second coil uh, we, we, uh, we are ready to get the output uh, uh, once the motor is rotated uh, with the front magnet in between the uh, field windings. Uh, here what happens uh, whenever the motor rotates uh, the magnet rotates in between uh, field coil of maximum windings uh, here whenever a magnet rotates in between a maximum winding flux linking the coil changes and emf is generated so that emf we will get in the output of both the black wires which is rectified by the diode and filtered out by the capacitor and we will get the output in the extension board same output we are using to run the motor also so there is a continuous continuity 
uh, of uh, magnet rotating in between a uh, uh, flux winding uh, will give a torque with the hand once the torque is given the motor starts to rotate in between the field coil once the motor starts rotated the magnet uh, rotating in between the flux coil generates the emf in the coil so the uh, maximum flux are linking with the coil and it produce electricity here you can see the bulb is glowing showing that emf is generated in the coil if we are using a dc bulb here and we will check the output by using the bulb dc bulb here the bulb is glowing showing that the emf is generated in the coil this also works on the principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction stating that whenever the flux link in the coil changes emf is generated in the coil here the emf generated in the coil is in the form of ac by using a diode and a capacitor we will filter out in the form of a dc and we will get a pure dc in the output here you can see that bulb is glowing showing that emf is generated in the coil continuously we are getting a emf output now we will connect the bulb on the extension board and see that we are getting a, a output a pure DC output in the extension board so continues we are getting a uh, electricity the motor is uh, with the magnet is rotating in front of a magnet and EMF is generated continuously thank you friends for watching this video Please subscribe and press the bell icon so that when I create such videos, you will get the notification. Please subscribe and share the video. Thank you very much.